morning everybody it's another beautiful 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 day down here and uh, I'm gonna be swapping out the nutrients in this Dutch bucket system here <laughs> last time I did it <laughs> I was siphoning it and I had to swallow a lot of it anyway, I don't want to do that today but <laughs> I've discovered some really 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 cool stuff uh, pertaining to pH um, how keeping a good handle on it can actually tell you what the heck the plants are doing uh, kind of took me a while to stumble on that anyway uh, so that's what I'm going to be checking out again today and uh, what I've been doing is uh, balancing not, okay <laughs> no that's not what I'm doing so anyway what I've been doing and what I've discovered is that uh, if I really 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 keep a close watch on the, on the TDS the total dissolved solids uh, and maintain my water level perfectly at the same all the time and check the pH I can tell what the heck the plants are doing for instance, like if uh, say my P, uh, say my pH is dropping really badly, and my TDS, my total dissolved solids, is, appears to be rising, then I'm feeding them too much. The plants are consuming way, way, way more water than they are nutrients, and they're transpiring more water than they are nutrients. So uh, I've been weakening them down, and uh, now I'm gotten to a point where I can keep the pH, like over the course of seven days, the same and the nutrient level the same, which is really, really awesome. God, it's hot out here. Which is really awesome, because then that tells you you've reached some equilibrium, at least with what the plants are need and what you're, what you're supplying them. Uh, it seemed like I was just overfeeding everything. <laughs> so I've cut way back on the newts. Uh, the pH is always 5.5 five to 6 in that area. So I've been watching that really good, and, and uh, I'm just noticing that uh, everybody seems to be improving. I'm kind of going through less nutrients and I'm getting better growth. Anyway, and that's, yeah, so that's what's up today. Anyway, here's those plants I showed you just a bit ago. They seem to be really, really, really doing well. Yeah. Check out my uh, cool double stemmed tomatoes. And uh, you can see I've got all the tops of the, of the buckets closed now. Uh, that's because of the amazing algae problem I had. Here, let me just take a look and maybe you can get right in there and see. Yeah, look at the root growth now. It's just, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, it kind of pays to cover them up too because the roots just, just kick off. It's really great. Anyway, I'm really happy. I'm going to get this changed. And, uh, and then maybe I'll show you some new, uh, <clears throat> some new, new pH up I'm using. It's by General Hydroponics. It's a dry, Dry stuff is like way, way, way better than that liquid dropping crap in there forever. Throw a quarter teaspoon of this stuff in a six gallon tank, bang, five, five, it's dead on. <laughs> it's, then again, maybe that's just because of the pH of my water here, dude. Anyway, that's what's up for today. Yeah. Enjoying this day. Wow, it's just beautiful. Oh, wish you can. Who would you miss? I posed you. See, hey, everybody.